From a Disney-like castle to a cave twinkling with tiny creatures, here are incredible places that really exist. Number 16, Marble Caves. The Marble Caves are located in General Carrera Lake, or Lake Buenos Aires, which is a part of Chile and Argentina. These formations are found at the center of the lake and were created by waves over the course of about 6,200 years. They jut out of the water, creating caverns with floors of water. The roofs of the caves are made up of jagged, smooth stone, and their colors are marbled shades of gray, blue, and green. The most recognized formation is called the Marble Chapel. It has a narrow base, but it widens toward the middle and comes to a sharp point facing toward the sky, similar to the shape of an arrowhead. The striking blue hue of the lake, along with the cool, monochromatic walls of the caverns, leave all visitors in awe of the Marble Cave's beauty. Number 15. Antelope Canyon This canyon is in the southwest United States, east of Page, Arizona. It has two different slot canyon sections that are called Upper Antelope Canyon and Lower Antelope Canyon, or the Crack and the Corkscrew, respectively. The Navajo name of Antelope Canyon means the place where water runs through rocks. This makes sense because Antelope Canyon is the result of erosion due to flash flooding. Another contributing factor to its creation was rainwater, chiefly during monsoon season. The flowing water carved the rocks and smoothed the walls of the canyon, giving them a velvety stream-like appearance. The organic lines on the walls and the bright orange hue of Antelope Canyon are awe-inspiring. However, flooding still occurs here, so travelers must be well aware of the dangerous possibilities. In 1997, 11 tourists lost their lives during a flash flood, and in 2006, the canyon was closed for five months due to a flood that persisted for 36 hours. Number 14, Mont Saint Michel. This breathtaking structure is located in Normandy, France. It is built on an inslet off the coast. The Bishop of Avranches, St. Aubert, constructed an oratory here after experiencing a vision of St. Michael in the 8th century. Then in 966, an abbey was built on the island, which towers over everything else. Several other buildings were erected over time, and they are surrounded by medieval-looking walls on all sides. The structures are all close together with a narrow, steep street that runs through them. Almost all of the buildings have been converted into hotels, restaurants, shops, and museums, as Mont St. Mitchell is now a popular tourist attraction. However, a Gothic mystical aura still surrounds this centuries-old monastery. Number 13. New Swanstone Castle also called the Castle of the Fairy Tale King. This castle is located in Bavaria, Germany. Its construction was completed in the late 1800s, and its original purpose was to serve as a home for King Ludwig II. However, he only spent a total of 11 nights inside and passed away before the details of the palace were finished. Despite his short time within its walls, Ludwig's influence can be seen throughout the castle. It exhibits luxurious detail throughout every room, with dark carved wooden doors, gold accents on the ceilings, and intricate paintings decorated on the walls. The king never planned to allow the public into this palace, but six weeks after he passed, the prince regent of Bavaria allowed paying visitors inside. Although he didn't live to see the extravagance of New Swanstone Castle in its entirety, the breathtaking structure inspired some well-known Disney fairy tales. It was a supposed vision behind Cinderella's castle as well as Sleeping Beauty's. Number 12, Great Blue Hole. This massive sinkhole is located off the coast of near Belize City. It is close to the middle of Lighthouse Reef. The hole is almost a perfect circle that measures about 1,040 feet across and 410 feet deep. The Great Blue Hole formed when sea levels were low during events of the Pleistocene glaciation. Studies of stalactites within the hole suggest that its formation began about 153,000 years ago. This place gained its fame when Jacques Cousteau said it was an excellent site for scuba diving. There are numerous fish species within the hole, such as the Caribbean reef shark and the midnight parrotfish. However, divers generally travel here to view the stalactites within the cave. Number 11, Glowworm Caves. The Waitamo Glowworm Caves are on New Zealand's North Island. Although the Maori people knew about the caves for centuries, it wasn't until the 1880s that the caves were explored at length. As surveyors went into the cavern, they discovered one of its most fascinating characteristics, the glowworms. They are a type of fungus gnat that only live in New Zealand. During their early life stages, they glow. These luminous creatures cover the ceilings in glowworm grotto within the cave, and the twinkling lights are reminiscent of a starry night sky. Further along in the glowworm cave, there are amazing limestone formations that cover the ceilings and walls. The cavern is also home to other critters, including giant crickets and albino cave ants. The glowworm caves even house some New Zealand longfin eels, which dwell in its subterranean lakes. Number 10, Socotra. 
Socotra is between the Arabian Sea and the Guardafai Channel. It is the most significant of the Socotra Archipelago's four islands. This landmass is extremely isolated and houses about 700 species of plants and animals. It is widely known for this biodiversity. One of the most peculiar things found on the island is the dragon's blood tree. It has a thick trunk that leads up to an umbrella-shaped cluster of branches and leaves. It got its name because it has crimson-colored sap. Socotra is also home to several bird species, including the Socotra sunbird and the Socotra starling, as well as various reptiles, spiders, and crabs. Bats are the only mammals that are native to the island. However, there is a population of non-native cats that threaten the longevity of these species. Number 9. Saladai Uni this is the biggest salt flat in the world and is located in the southwest, Bolivia. It is part of the Altiplano, a plateau that has various freshwater lakes, saltwater lakes, and salt flats. It is surrounded by mountains, so it doesn't have a drainage outlet. Salada Uni contains about 11 billion tons of salt. Due to the salt's reflective qualities, when it rains, the flat is turned into a colossal mirror, making it difficult to find where the sky ends and the ground begins. There is hardly any life to be found in, besides giant cacti, and it only serves as a breeding ground for flamingos in November. Number 8. Giraffe Manor This place is located in Nairobi, Kenya. It is home to several Rothschild giraffes, which are endangered. Along with the Giraffe Center, there is a breeding project here with the goal of reintroducing the giraffes to the wild and expanding the gee pool. The manor was built in 1932 by Sir David Duncan. In 1974, Betty Leslie Melville purchased it and soon learned that giraffes were threatened. Currently, there are only eight of the creatures living on the premises. In 1983, Melville's son, Rick Anderson, moved into the manor's hotel with his wife and took over management. Guests would give treats to the giraffes during breakfast through the windows on the second story or even through the front door. Several stars stayed here throughout the years, including Brooke Shields, Johnny Carson, and Mike Jagger. In 2009, Mikey and Tanya Carr Hartley bought Giraffe Manor, and it is now part of the safari collection. Number seven, Oya. This village is located on the Santorini Island, which is about 120 miles southeast of the mainland of Greece and is the most sizable island of the archipelagos. Oya is about 1.2 miles long and approximately 330 feet above sea level. It was built on the arduous slope that faces the Aegean Sea. The buildings are snow white with bright blue roofs, adding to its striking appearance. It is a popular tourist destination that offers various goods and souvenirs. One of the town's most recognizable structures is the windmill. Oya is known for its beauty and watching the sunset is one of the most significant activities this place has to offer. The white houses reflect all of the striking hues of the setting sun. Pomakale. This natural wonder is in southwestern Turkey. In Turkish, Pamukkal means cotton castle. It got its name due to the pure white limestone that gracefully overhangs the mountainside. It also exhibits stunning white terraces with pools of bright blue warm water. The mineral rich water is thought to have healing properties, so people travel there to help cure themselves of any ailments. The legend about Pamukkal says that a young unattractive girl flung herself into one of these pools. She then transformed into a beautiful lady, and the Lord of Denizli saw and fell in love with her instantly. The two got married soon after. So not only were the waters supposed to cure sicknesses, but they are also said to have cosmetic abilities. The remains of Hierapolis, an ancient city, are also found here. Number 5. Hohenzollern Castle This castle is in Baden-Württemberg, Germany. It is the last of three palaces that were built on the site. It was constructed by Frederick William IV, the Crown Prince of Prussia. Starting in 1850, the castle was completed in 1867 under the rule of the prince's brother, King William I. There is a drawbridge that connects to the Eagle Gate, which comprises the castle's entrance. Hohenzollern Castle sits on top of a hill about 2,800 feet above sea level, so its elevation and picturesque surroundings give it a whimsical romantic appearance. Number 4. Cappadocia This historical region is located in central Anatolia. It is a high plateau that has volcanic peaks jutting out from its landscape. The area is very popular with tourists due to its alien-like geological features as well as its history. Throughout the centuries, people carved into the rock to create stables, living areas, storehouses, and places of worship. The complex tunnels they dug formed towns with levels extending eight stories underground. People inhabited these areas from about 800 BC onward, and some of the subterranean buildings are still lived in. Some are also used as hotels, which offer an unparalleled experience. One of the most popular ventures in Cappadocia is hot air ballooning, which allows people to see the truly spectacular views from high elevation. Number 3. Hitachi Seaside Park This stunning park is located in Hitachi Naka, Japan. It covers about 470 acres of land. 
The park features a wide variety of flowers and greenery that blanket the ground. The park's most renowned flower is the blue Nemophilia. It blooms during the spring and its baby blue hues mirrors the clear sky. During autumn, the Koshia bushes, or summer cypress, in the park turn a bright red hue, making it look something right out of a Dr. Seuss book. There are several walking trails so people can enjoy a stroll through the colorful flora. Hitachi Seaside Park also encompasses an amusement park, which has over 25 attractions and rides, so getting on the 330-foot Ferris wheel gives visitors a wonderful view of the surrounding area. Number 2. Isle of Skye This island is the most significant of Scotland's inner Hebrides Islands. It is about 50 miles long. Perhaps the island of Skye is the most famous for the rescue of Prince Charles during the Jacobite Rebellion. A woman named Flora MacDonald helped the prince escape to Skye while she was disguised in an Irish maid's outfit. However, they were eventually caught and Flora was arrested. Luckily, she was released later on. But besides its interesting history, the Isle of Skye is also known for its diverse bird population, including the corncrake, Atlantic puffin, golden eagle, and red-throated diver. The white-tailed sea eagle also resides here and is one of the most beloved among bird watchers. Another reason the Isle of Skye is such an awe-inspiring place is its landscape. Rolling green hills and jagged cliffs make an amazing view, and its small mirror-like pools add to the island's breathtaking scenery. Number 1. Petra This historical city is located in southern Jordan. It is surrounded by cliffs and got its water from a stream, so it was almost like a fortress. It was once a great city that was the center of numerous trade routes, but today it is one of the most amazing tourist destinations in the entire world. There are massive structures that past civilizations carved into the cliffs about 2,000 years ago. One of the most renowned buildings is the Treasury. Its entrance is about 100 feet wide and 140 feet tall, and it is a rosy color due to the natural hue of the rock it's built into. However, that is only the beginning of Petra's many astonishing structures. There are hundreds of intricately designed tombs as well as a theater that could seat about 3,000 people. Other impressive architectural features can be seen in temples obelisk, and streets lined with columns. One of the most significant buildings is the monastery, which one has to climb 800 steps to reach. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.